Thank the organizer for having me here. Um, I'm Lu Han from eGenesis, a biotech startup based in Boston. At eGenesis, we strive to rewrite the pig genome to deliver human transplantable organ. So we are very excited about our mission and progress. However, today I, I would like to represent more for myself as a scientist. I'd like to share with you some of the challenge we encounter in our practice to elicit your thinking and help. Um, and I truly believe we collectively can make a lot of impact. Um, just a quick view why we are doing this. So we understand there are 100,000 people on the transplantation waiting list, and only 20% of them can get transplantation each year. However, this is only the iceberg of the problem because there are millions of patients are suffer from end-stage organ failure, and uh, their life can be potentially saved by organ. However, there's no medical solution yet. And the solution and strategy eugenicists are using is xenotransplantation. Use pig as a bioreactor to mature the organ. The way it works is we started with somatic cell, um, then do the modification. As people clone Dali, we clone a pig out of the somatic cell, then use the organ for transplant. This, the concept of xenotransplantation has been attempted for decades. And there are two surmountable problems people couldn't address before to make it clinically relevant. The first one is the endogenous retrovirus of the pig will jump from the pig genome to the human genome. And our recent data show that it can also transfer from infected human genome to another genome. So it's a real safety concern we have to address. In addition to that, um, the immunology um, incompatibility require more than dozen, more than couple of modification, and there was no no tool to do that. So with recent advancement of gene editing, especially CRISPR, eugenicists are uh, trying to leverage the tool to address both problem. And um, in 2015, so. Uh, our team at Church Lab demonstrate that we can use CRISPR to eradicate 62 copies of, a, of the virus in the pig cell line. And people got very excited. For one thing, we broke the record of how many modifications you can do per mammalian genome. And I believe we still hold the record, really liberate people's imagination what the tool can do. More importantly for us, we show that after modification, there is no infection. Um, it's only the start of our journey. So right now at eGenesis, we are repeating the procedure in the primary cell line rather than the tumor cell line in order to produce a pig for both viral eradication and immunology. And I regard it as a uh, iterative process before we have safe and effective organ we can put into the human being. Um, due to the time limit, um, I don't have chance to go to the detail of our progress. I wa want to share with you some of the challenge I see. I, I think we can learn a lot from people's experience in bacteria and yeast engineering. There are some unique features about mammalian genome make it difficult to engineer. On the design part, the, we don't have fully understanding how the epigenetic factor, the three-dimensional genomic structure, interfere with the gene expression, not mentioning the design principle for foreign circuit. On the engineering part, CRISPR is very powerful to do the knockout. But once it comes to knocking, we don't have a robust tool to do over 1,000 base pair knocking at specific locus. In addition, to measure the cell phenotype in the petri dish is one thing, but to understand how the gene circuit will function in the organism is another thing. And there are active research going on to use organoid or transgenic animal. And today I'll focus on the first two problems. So here is a um, snapshot, the problem we encounter for the transgene expression in the pixel. So first, some endogenous uh, tissue-specific promoter has nakedness. And for this transcription unit, it was fine. But once we put in the circuit, then it gets silent. And um, we also encounter a lot of silencing and um, micro deletion in our circuit. So I think with ever-growing knowledge of epigenetic factor, with power to synthesize different <coughs> DNA circuit, and with single cell RNA transcriptome analysis, maybe we can gradually build some design principle on the component and structure to design the circuit. Um, 
On the engineering part, I think the field is looking beyond CRISPR to look for some natural occurring system which can do modification over 1,000 base pair, such as recombinase transposes in some cilia system. The engineer challenge is how to make it programmable. And what if we want to do more than 100,000 base pair? So one interesting discovery we found is this is a karyotype picture of the pixel after multiple side of engineering. And we found the balanced translocation at the cutting site. Whether we can leverage such a phenomenon and understanding more about the pathway contribute to this to, do, to mobilize megas or hundreds of mega base pair within the cell. How about intercellular DNA exchange? Bacteria has conjugation system, and yeast has mating system, and we have very low efficient mini-cell transfer system. Whether we can learn from nature, our cardiomyocyte will fuse um, by two components sufficiently, and whether we can utilize such a system to enhance the intercellular chromosome transfer. So looking at the history, I think it's easily appreciated our process or capability to modify the genome is way lack our capability to read the genome. CRISPR is like finger sequencing. So it just moved us from the stage we couldn't do anything to we can do something. Innovation is required to enhance the scalability, multiplexability, and complexity. Despite the complexity, I want to share with you some encouraging data which give me the conviction that mammalian system is engineerable. So in the MAMMOTH project um, I have been working on with Dr. George Church, we try to get the elephant stem cell using somatic cell nuclear transfer. So we use the pig egg cell as a donor cell due to the availability of the material, and we got robust hybrid elephant uh, blastocyst with pig egg uh, after seven days. And this is such a dramatic experiment in the way that it almost looked like genome transfer. So we can situate the genome in a novel environment and it can function fine. So that gave me the conviction that life is quite adaptive and flexible as long as we can use and understand the same genomic language. Just to sum up, at eGenesis, we tried to rewrite the uh, pig genome to generate human tra transplantable organ. And I look forward innovation within eGenesis and within the field in general for the next steps. Last but not least, I'd like to thank the team and the supporting team in eGenesis. Um, I think we are a very driven, creative, and audacious team. So uh, we are looking forward to, for new members. If you share the same passion and mission, please to come to find me. You can be part of the uh, cutting edge team to change the medicine and technology. Thank you, I'm happy to take any question. <laughs> Yes. Okay, thanks. 